we're going to show you the counter to the re inverted triangle. I call it reverse triangle sometimes, inverted triangle. Um, I like the inverted triangle a lot. It's a great attack. Uh, if it's locked on really tight, hard to get out of. So I'm going to show you guys the best way I've found to deal with the position. So I already got stuck in the position. The first thing I want to do is take the arm that's outside of the triangle and bring it on the opposite side of the hip. I want to get it nice and tight because he's got too many good attacks over here with the arm. So I want to hide that right away. I want to protect my base and I want to sit through just like this, facing his legs. At this point, to really, really get this nice and tight, I don't want him to be able to scoop the arm out. Okay, so I really want to lock this in. I'm going to grab inside my leg. Okay, so now my base is nice and set. It's hard for him to off balance me, hard, hard for him to choke me because this arm is away from him. He can't pull it towards him. So once I'm here in this position, as he's trying to push me down to make the space, I take this opportunity. If I can reach and grab with my hand, that's, that's great. If not, I'm just going to step over with the top leg and stretch it back and away to untie the knot. Once I'm there, I get rid of that. I can hold the position here and then eventually go wherever I want. Okay? So, one more time. Stuck. This same side arm or I'm sorry, the open arm is going to come over here. I lock it against his hip, I sit through. Reach up, push down, trap the leg over top of his foot, extend. He has to straighten his leg. It's too much pressure on his knee. Once this is untied, I just take the top arm and free the leg. So let's do it one more time from this angle. Let you guys get a little better of a look. Okay, again, the danger here is that I try to do something like this. He's going to be able to attack my arm too easily. So I want to protect this arm. I lock it down against his hip and I sit through so I can protect my base at the same time. As he's trying to off balance me, a lot of times his foot is going to come down closer in range. So I can use my hand here, step the leg over top, extend, makes it uncomfortable on his leg to hold this position. So he has to straighten it. Now my head can come out. All right, give it a try. Let us know what you think.